Hello. Some have dared hope for a better life beyond Prisoner's Gate. Not me. My place is here, easing the suffering of exile as best I can. sound ungrateful, but we've no time for talk. Tolman was out here with me, and now... Piety has him. 
They're headed for the crematorium. I have no chance against piety in your blackguards, but you, you're another matter entirely. Please, you found it in your heart to rescue me. Tolman is just as worthy of your generosity. Mortality is the mother of life. We have turned our backs on her. Madamoa Patua thanks you, Exile, for returning our Clarissa to us. She is the gentle heart of this place, a spirit still capable of love in this wasteland of hatred. Yet that gentle heart remains in jeopardy. Tolman isn't deserving of Clarissa, but she'll not smile until he's by her side. Dominus and his Ebony Legion arrived some time ago. Now the blackguards scour San like hungry maggots on a carcass. What are they looking for? Only that which is best left unfound. A Templar? In exile? Now I've seen it all. Dominus must have run out of honest businessmen to banish, and he's finally getting to the real criminals. Just shaking with you, your worship. In truth, I'm grateful to you for returning Clarissa to us. Problem is... One die I love her ain't much good to anyone. Like gloves, they tend to be more useful than peers. The missing glove, in this case, is a young fella named Tolman. May God above light your way to Tolman's salvation, brother. The slums are east of here. Used to house the unwashed of the Empire a couple centuries back. Now it's home to the walking ulcers and sores of this poor city. meet in the shell of a long dead snail an empire slow to see where its path was taking it built on the husk of another and destined to be buried time and time again this city will see great things yet exile but not in your lifetime
Fire rains down across the land. Beware the path you take. Unnatural energies hold those in black at bay, but the barrier bends for crackling kin.
life in his right hand, death in his left. And then there are those who fell through God's fingers.
A dead man and a living machine. There's your truth, heretic. <laughs> We may just discover the truth of this world. Tolman's dead then, another victim of piety's cruelty. Perhaps he escaped lightly. Look upon Grigor to see what life entails under piety's influence. Let me offer you something, in recognition of all that you have done for us. We shall mourn Tolman's death as we shall treasure Clarissa's life. General Gravisius demands absolute obedience from his blackguards, meaning he surrounded himself with cowards and lacquets, unable to lift a finger without orders. If you are able, traverse the river and murder Gravisius in his own barracks. He'll be ripping the very mind from the skulls of our enemies. Clarissa will weep for Tolman. She must. The cloud is darkest before the rain. It's an often told story among the Karui, how Vol of Thebris bent his knee to my ancestor, King Kalm, and promised freedom in return for war. While Vol raised his purity rebellion in the heart of the Empire, Kalm took Lord Lionai's head and the southern coast all the way to Siren's Cove. It was the greatest conquest the Karui have ever seen. If I knew how to cross the river safely, I'd be wearing Gravisius' head on my belt. I'll miss a boy. He was always up for a laugh, whether it was at his expense or not. But I wouldn't miss that Clarissa more. Argon's a name, by the way. And it's my honor to welcome you to Dirty Old Sun, the metropolis of opportunity. The opportunity to make something of yourself, or the opportunity to have a very messy death. I was Clarissa's guardian angel back in Orith. Put food on the table in return for a bit of light work. I try to keep her out of trouble as best I can here. But San's full of secrets, and Clarissa's full of curiosity. <laughs> Poor Tolman. I made this bracelet for him when he first arrived here. 
idiot said he'd never take it off. I called him a liar. He didn't, though. Not once. I need to give you something. I asked a lot of you out there in the slums. More than I should have. You tried. And that's all we exiles can ever hope to do. Those keys unlock the gates to the sewers. Tolman found them. Figure that in the worst of times, people will hide their wealth in the worst of places. We were never going to test his theory. Not with the undying down there. But you're strong. Stronger than any of us here. I don't think you need to fear the dark. Sorry, I... I need some more time to... to think. We'll talk soon, I promise. <laughs>